Welcome back guys. Grab you a quick cup. <clears throat> I wanted to go over with y'all real quick what my favorite stock and pistol grip setup is that I use on all my bills. <clears throat> I get questions from time to time about what do I like and why do I like it and why do I use it, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. <clears throat> so I figured this was a good chance just to cover that specifically. So let me preface a couple of things. I've been using and or putting together ARs and such for the better part of my life. I mean, I grew up with them as a young, young child. Right now, there are more good options available than there ever has been. There is a ton of good options. My favorite is not the only good option. So let's just put that out there up front, okay? They're just my favorites, and I'm going to tell you why. Your favorite may be different. Rock on long as it's good and it works for you that's all that matters right so my two favorites <clears throat> are the Magpul, Magpul Mo K2 grip and the Mo SL stock <clears throat> now I have been using Magpul stuff for a long long time like literally since they started um, I even still have one of the rapid prototype P mags that they gave me to beta test back when they first come out with the P mags. Again, it's a rapid prototype. I still have it and I still use it. It still works just great. So take that for what it's worth. So why do I use these? Well, I've used a lot of various Magpul grips and stocks over the years as they've come out with them. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I don't think there's but a couple of them that I haven't at some point tried or used. I've now got this combo of grip and stock on all of my rifles except, except for three. I have three rifles. One has a standard Mo stock on it, which I want to replace with a SL and two others have CTR stocks on them that I'll replace them with, with the SLs at some point. It, it's not a huge priority right now of, of that I want to delegate finances to just because those still work fine. But this is the Mo, oh, the, no, this is the Mo SL. I'm getting all my terminology mixed up here. Hold on, we can rectify that brain power <clears throat> so as you can see the MOSL it's a pretty sleek streamlined stock it's got a decent sized butt area to it but it's not overly huge um, it's got a little bit of an angle but not too steep it's solid underneath you've got sling slots plus a QD point and then your adjustment lever right here is on both sides you just grab it and pull up as such to go one thing that makes the SL stock a little bit unique from other Magpul stocks is inside inside the stock right in here and here on both sides at an angle like that that counteract the, the contact the curved part of the buffer tube right before your center locking tabs there are two arched leaf springs what those leaf springs do as you slide it on the buffer tube the buffer tube compresses those leaf springs and it puts tension between the stock and the buffer tube and it takes out all the rattle the, the looseness etc even if there's slight variations in different tolerances on the the buffer tube um, it keeps all that rattle out, it keeps it nice and tight and stiff. Um, that's just a feature I really like. Primarily for the noise aspect, I don't like it rattling around on me if I can help it. And I like the overall sleek design of this. I can run this on a more general purpose carbine that works good. I run it on my more accuracy oriented carbines simply because if I'm locked down behind it the way this is right here, I can lock under this good with my hand and push it into my shoulder and really get down on it good. 
front, it works great. I absolutely love the SL stocks. And as you can see, see there's, it doesn't move at all. You can hear the magazine spring rattling, but nothing there. So favorite, favorite Magpul stock, favorite industry stock, hands down for me. I just like it. it does everything I want it to do. Now, the K2 grip, okay? I actually have this K2 on all my ARs except for, I think, two. I think I still have two that have older MEAD grips or MO grip on them. But I even have the AK version of the K2 grip on all my AKs, all right? I like the overall size and shape of the K2 grip. It fills the palm of my hand good, but the little indention right up here, it really makes my hand naturally gravitate high up into the grip. It gives me just the right trigger pull for, for my hand um, as far as the length. The texturing on it is just right. I don't find it to be overly aggressive. Like, I can run the gun all day in a class and my hand doesn't get sore. I'm generally wearing gloves anyway, but on the off chance that I'm not. It doesn't eat up my hand, but even if my hands are wet or dirty or whatever, I find I can still get a good, a good tactile purchase on the grip and it doesn't want to slide around on my hand and that sort of thing. So, of course, it's got all the same options in the bottom that... CTR and Mo grips have. This is just a regular cap, but you can get the one that holds an oil bottle. There's one that'll hold a firing pin and a spare bolt. Um, I forget what other options they got, but there's options for the grip storage. So you can put up to you whatever your specific needs are. Now, the K2 grip does have a little bit more of a uh, vertical angle to it versus like a Mo or a Miad that's got it and back a little further, more in the lines of a traditional AR grip. That's where it just comes down to, to user preference. Um, whatever fits and works with your hand and your mechanics, your body mechanics best, right? These are just my favorites. Um, I will say, as much as I love the K2, right, I do not have a problem utilizing a Mo or a Miad. If, for example, the couple of guns that I still got, the Mo slash Miad, I think I've got one of each on two different guns. If I never got around to replacing those with K2s, I wouldn't care. It, it wouldn't be a, a huge deal. Yes, I would like to have them all the same just because I'm, it's a personal thing with me. I like consistency and uniformity across all my different, my different weapons. But it's not a big deal if it isn't. I can run a Mo, I can run a Miad. Doesn't bother me in the least. I think they are excellent grips, and for me, huge upgrades over, uh, of course, obviously the standard factory grip. Um, on my AKs, running the K2 on my AKs, that for me was a huge shift over the traditional AK grips and even some of the um, other offerings that are on the market, some of which are really good. There's no issue with those grips just for me. The geometry and the mechanics of it really let me get a good feel of control uh, over the gun, the trigger, etc. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's my uh, my two favorite pieces of furniture um, as far as putting on all my weapons. Uh, I will put links down in the description box. I think I can link directly to Magpul for you, but I'll also put a link to the blog like I usually do. And I'll have links there. And I also have a couple other links in case Magpul's out of stock directly. There's a couple other places that I like to shop at to get them from. Um, Primary Arms being one of my favorite places, so I'll have links to that too. Y'all check them out if you're so inclined. So anyway, guys, that's kind of the short down and dirty um there's not any real earth shattering uh revelations behind why i like them 
they're, they're, they're simple, they're durable, they're functional, they work for me the way I want them to work. So that's about it. You guys take care, stay safe, always keep preparing, always keep training, always keep getting ready. I'll talk to you later.